you're a tech company and you're a real estate company. The multiple you're coming out of the gate with is more like a tech company. Why do you think that this business deserves that multiple? So if you ask an agent what they want, and agents are our customers, we have 20,000 of them in Compass today, and what they want is the best of a brokerage firm and the best of the software solutions they have to use every day in one place. Think about if you're a merchant and you can go to Shopify, have everything in one place, the agents want the same as well. And there's certain needs they have from a brokerage firm that have to exist, but the average agent has to use nine different software providers every single week to be able to do their job. And we are putting everything in one place, creating the modern platform, the modern one-stop solution to meet all their needs that allows them to grow their business and better serve their clients. And the results speak for themselves. The average agent at Compass grows their business 19% after their first year. You have better outcomes for their sellers. They're selling homes at 21% fewer days on market. And because of those outcomes, we have industry-leading agent retention, retaining them at meaningfully above 90% across every year that we've existed. Okay, so if we're going to look at more of a tech company, then let's talk about profitability because that is very difficult for some tech companies to get. There is a conversation that says you're going to have to cut some agents in order to get your profitability up. True? And if not, how do you do it? Yeah, so the fortunate part of our model is agents aren't uh, salaried agents in the United States. Uh, they are independent contractors. And so uh, there aren't incremental, we're not paying salary and benefits for them. They're entrepreneurs and they run their business. Uh, we're giving them the solution for them to grow their business and better serve their clients. Uh, in, in terms of profitability, we have a very clear path to profitability. Uh, we're going to continue to grow, uh, but we're going to grow more efficiently. And you can see from our S1 that we've been narrowing our losses. And with this capital infusion, we now have everything that we need to accelerate our growth while still uh, aligning with our clear path to profitability. Robert, the, the housing market in the States is super hot right now. Yeah. Does that profitability yes, date get pushed back if it starts to cool down? So, uh, I, first, let's talk about the housing market. It is, it is incredibly hot. It's as hot as it has ever been. Uh, we are seeing the consumer want more space across all of our markets. Uh, COVID has ignited everyone's desire for more indoor space, more outdoor space, more private office space, more second home space. And it's going to take years to be able to meet that demand. Uh, so I don't see things slowing down in any way. Even as interest rates have moved up just a little bit, it's, they're still very low from a historical perspective, and we, we do not see that slowing down demand. Uh, and, and so uh, yeah, even if the, the market does slow down over the next you know, two years, we still have the mechanics in place to be able to get to profitability. So how do you then grow from here? Like, what are you going to use the money for that, that you just raised, and, and, and how do you grow then? Yeah, so the, the primary area of focus is investing in the platform. We, we have a, a product engineering team of over 700 people. Our CTO was formerly CTO of AI at Microsoft. Our chief product officer previously came from Amazon. He was a 23-year executive there, six months tenured executive uh, at Amazon before coming over. He ran all of Amazon Prime Video, launched Echo and Alexa in the music category at Amazon. And so we investing in that team to build productivity and efficiency tools for agents is our primary area of focus. Because if we create value for agents, that's the way that we create value for shareholders. Just in terms of the IPO today, you had to cut the size of it, you had to cut the price. Uh, you've talked about the fact that this IPO is gonna help you get to profitability and give you what you need to invest in the business. I guess it's been a tough week for tech, just the mechanics of this, uh, I think, uh, are a factor of timing. But nevertheless, did you get what you want today? Yeah, the, the goal was never a valuation. The goal was never a price. The goal was a capital raise. And we met that goal and we succeeded in the goal. Uh, with this IPO, we now have hundreds of millions of dollars infused into the company that will allow us to continue to accelerate our investment in our technology platform uh, and in our creating a one-stop shop solution, the modern platform for real estate agents that meets all their needs so they can better serve their clients and grow their business. Um, Robert, just back to the profitability question. I mean, I know that your, your agents aren't salaried or anything, but um, they do get a certain amount that they get to keep. And, I mean, the low-hanging fruit is to reduce the, the amount they get to keep so then you guys get to keep it. Yes, so our, our focus is on creating value for agents. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, the, the average agent that comes to the Compass grows their business 19% after their first year. And so the more, the more we can increase that number, 
that will be the key driver of all the outcomes that we want. Uh, whether it's the, 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 the revenue of the company, the profitability of the company, the EBITDA of the company, it, they're, they're, the key driver that we need to focus on is getting that 19% to be higher and higher and higher every year.